Welcome back viewers and subscribers, it's your boy here Kurt doing another quick video for you guys. Today we are going to work on this hyena truck. Basically what we are going to do is remove the evaporator core and clean it and change the receiver dryer. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you will never miss a video. Guys, this is how the dash look when the evaporator core remove. So I'm just going to bring you over to the core now. So what we are doing here is pull all the screws so we can pull the evaporator core housing apart. And you can see the dirt on the core already. So just a few screws leave. And remember guys to follow us on Instagram and also TikTok. And feel free to call the number on the screen if you are in Jamaica and you need your auto AC to service. So guys, this is how the evaporator core look. This evaporator core is in a bad condition. But anyway, we're going to clean it up and get it look new again. So we clean up the core and we're going to fit it up in the housing back now. So we install the evaporator core back in the chuck. So guys, we're gonna remove the receiver dryer right now. Guys, this is the receiver dryer here. The first thing we do is remove the two 10 bolts that hold the two pipes on top of the receiver dryer. We remove the old receiver dryer. It's time to install the new one. So before we install the two 10 bolts, we have to line up the two hole that on the receiver dryer with the pipes. After finish lining up the pipes, we are tightening the bracket that hold the receiver dryer in place. We are installing about the two 10 bolts. We finish install the receiver dryer. It's time to regas the truck now. Guys, we finished regas the AC system. And the AC is now blowing coal. Another successful job from Kirk's Junior Auto. Remember to share this video and like and comment if you wish. Until next time, guys. Uh, oh.